Okay, this is your herbalist Kareem talking about actually bladder act CMOS teacher. Now I wanted to actually do this video and we're gonna make it under 10 minutes because I know I actually go in and whatnot when I'm talking and giving details because I feel it's important. Now, the reason why I'm doing actually bladder act CMOS teacher is because I got a few calls People are actually are talking to me face to face of how bladder rack CMOS is nasty. They don't like the taste of it. Okay, it is nasty, it doesn't taste that great. And the reason why I tell people not to put it in the capsule, because if you're not a vegetarian or vegan, your colon is not gonna know what to do with it. It's not gonna be effective. Less than 5% is not even gonna go anywhere. It's, it's like a waste of time to me personally. But uh, that's why a lot of people, when they're telling you to do a detox, and they're having you go through a 21 day this and 21 day that, and they actually have you on herbs, and they're having you giving you capsules and whatnot, they tell you to do your own vegetables and fruits, okay? So, let's go ahead and get past that, move past that. Now, the uh, teacher will be made of alcohol, you know, 80 proof alcohol, 40% alcohol is in it, and it's 80 proof. You're just gonna go get this, it's real cheap. You can find it sometimes less than $10, you know, at your local store. And um, let's get past that. When, when I told you in the beginning that I'm an herbalist that deals with science and mother nature, I meant that. The time we're living in right now, which is genetically modified food, it's not effective just dealing with herbs. The stuff is so heavily uh, uh, poisoned food in the stores today, it, it, you, and, and it gets into your body. You need a fast, extreme way of getting the stuff out of your body. Most of us are addicted to sugars and different types of drinks and actual coffee and in liquid forms and, and, and meat, you know, you're doing uh, the diet and doing all this, it's not going to be effective, but a teacher will. A teacher will do its job while you're still addicted to things because it goes, you put the, the uh, drops underneath your tongue and it goes right to your bloodstream and boom, it's like a river. Your, your body starts, your organs and everything that has in there starts pulling away the nutrients, what it needs and whatever. So that's powerful. So a teacher is always a very powerful way, it's effective when when capsules are not effective. But if, like I said, if you're eating a veg, uh, you're a vegetarian or vegan, you ain't got nothing to worry about. You can do it in any form you chose, choose to. So, okay, let's get to it. I actually, you're gonna need a mason jar. And the reason why I use a, a you know, I, I have a 16 ounce mason jar right here. You can use any size you want. And uh, here's actually have some bladder ass sea moss right now. And I have a video on my actual website right when you go and click on purchasing the powder because I, I the powder that I sell with bladder X CMOS is actually 12 ounces that's in there so you can make capsules over 500 capsules of the bladder X CMOS or you can do a tincture or you can actually put it in your juice but I have a video showing you right when you click on the bladder X CMOS of how actually uh, uh, to do a juice for me. Young ladies on there telling you how to actually make a, a bladder rack sea moss juice that is uh, not so nasty. Take that curve with that nasty taste of smoothie and whatnot. And a lot of people don't like doing it. They, they're in a rush going to work, so you got to make it in water and it's filthy and nasty. They don't know what to mix with it and whatnot. So she'll give you some ideas and telling you how to do it. So don't worry about it. I don't get paid from that, so I ain't worried about it. But uh, what? it depends on how strong you want to make it. See, when you do your mason jar, you can do a one to a three ratio, and what I mean by that is is three parts three parts of alcohol and one ratio of, of, of the powder form. And when you're making an actual tincture, like I said before when I did that, go back and watch the details of me showing you how to make a cayenne tincture. You can do this with any powder, but I just want to give you an idea with this bladder act sea moss. But do not do a vegetable glycerin with powder. It's gonna clump up on your mush. It's not gonna it's not gonna do the same thing, okay? So I'm gonna make mine almost halfway full because my son he's been having bladder rack sea moss since he was a baby along with his majority of his mama's breast milk so he enjoys the actual bladder rack sea moss and rice milk so you know he, he cool with that you know but uh for those of you that wouldn't want to teach and whatnot brother actually made a teach bladder rack team teach for me and it wasn't that bad, but it, it tasted just like, had a little softness to it, but it tasted like the ocean, <laughs> like seaweed, you know, because bladder rack sea moss, both are a seaweed, okay? So, anyways, you're gonna actually take that, and you're going to, see, that's almost halfway full, and the rest you're gonna fill up with alcohol. And now, we do know that alcohol is toxic. But alcohol pulls out 
more properties of the herb than anything, you know, than vegetable glycerin in the water base. But uh, also, you got to keep in mind that, you know, you'll give cough syrup and, and all kinds of other little uh, um, medical things from the doctor, you know, it has alcohol in it. You give that to your children and you'll take it yourself. The stuff is mixed with Mother Nature's herbs, so get your mind past the fact that it has a little bit of alcohol in it, okay? It's not really potent, potent alcohol. You're not trying to get drunk on this and whatnot. You know, and making your, your organs like, oh my God, majorly toxic. You're putting herbs in here. Majorly, you're pulling out all the enzymes, the vitamins, the antioxidants. You're pulling all this out, these nutrients out from the alcohol. And it preserves like five, eight, ten years. So shake it up like I did right here. And then you add more alcohol. And you want to fill it up all the way up to the, the top of the, the lip right here. Not all the way forward, but the top of the list right where you're screwing on the top. And then that'll be it. So you can give yourself some, some room to shake it up. Boom. Now after you have all that done, you're going to actually get a towel and a crock pot. Because you want to have this done uh, in the, the traditional way of six weeks to two months. Some people do three months. You want to get a towel and put it at the bottom of your crock pot. This way right here is done in three days. You can do it on the stove if you don't have a crock pot, but doing it on the stove, you have to turn off the eye, the, the, uh, the, the, um, the stove on and off. It's a lot of work when doing it on the stove. So after you put the, the towel at the bottom of the crock pot, because you don't want to put glass at the bottom without a towel because it will crack when it's sitting there on low. Now put your crock pot on low, boom, and then you fill it up with tap water, cheap water, you know, the dirty water. You fill it up with tap water. And uh, after you fill it up, you let it cook on low. And what that's gonna do is it's warming up the crock pot. It ain't hot, hot. You put your thing in there anytime you want, you can hold it in there. But it's actually warm, lukewarm water. But uh, a little bit past lukewarm water. And, and that's what you have to do on the stove, keep it at that lukewarm, because past the temperature, you know, you're gonna kill all the vitamins and enzymes and nutrients inside of it, and it'll be no good. So, you, it's better to use a crock pot on low. You can get these bad boys cheap for less than 30 bucks. So anyway, you put that on there, and it's gonna take three days to make your tincture. So after you actually uh, fill it up with water, you're gonna, um, if you're going to work, or if you're at home, every tw eight to 12 hours, check on it. And when you check on it, you're gonna shake it up. Because you're gonna see a separation of the herb and the alcohol. And the, uh, or the actual tincture itself. You're going to see a separation. And you shake it up, put it back in there. And you might want to top it off with some water. Watch the water every 8 hours to 12 hours. Watch the water. And when you go in there, every 8 hours to 12 hours, you want to shake it up. Put it back in there and top it off with some water. Every 8 to 12 hours. It's important to top it off with water because the water is going to start evaporating. Evaporate, okay? And you don't want to get caught up with that. And if it does, it's still you got you caught with the moisture of the towel and it won't be touching the glass and boom. So that'll be it. Now when you complete with that and it's done after the third day is finished, that separation you see right there that you've always been shaking, now you're like, oh, it's the good stuff. You're gonna open up the tincture, you open up the mason jar, and you're gonna take like a turkey baster, and you're gonna these are cheap. You get these bad boys at Walmart. You're going to suck it out and you're going to put it into another, you know, mason jar. Or whatever you want to use. Bowl, whatever. It's not no important. Boom. Put it in. Separate it as much as you can. Try to stay away from getting the, the bottom of the mush. If you get a little bit of it, it's not a big deal. But you're going to get all of it out. And after you get all of it out, you're going to transfer it to an actual, um, you know, tincture bottle. You can get these bad boys for like... 60 cent if you buy them in real lots of bulk. But if you're just buying one, they cost you about a dollar fifty cent, a dollar fifty with the dropper bottle and the tincture bottle. So uh, you know, that's you, you want to get one of this is a two ounce bottle right here. And uh when every time you uh in about a dollar fifty, looking on Amazon, anywhere you can find these all day long. But uh when you're actually taking this, you're gonna take a dropper full, okay? And this is this is shelf life will last you about five, eight, ten years. But you're gonna take it because of the alcohol. It's, that's the preserving agent. So you're gonna take the a dropper and put it under your tongue. 
hold it for about five seconds, and then chase it with some water when it's in nasty. But immediately it's gonna go to the bloodstream and boom, it's gonna do what it needs to do. Okay? Keep that in mind. That's the importance of a Bladderac CMOS tincture. And any tincture, and like I said, the powder form that I actually sell on my website is actually 12 ounces. So if you're using a smaller mason jar, this is an actual 16 ounce uh, jar, half of that is eight. You know, you still got four ounces of powder left. And, or you can use a smaller one. They sell eight ounce jars, you know, 12 ounce jars. You know, you can find these all day long and just do what you need to do and just make start making, because this is in three days. I want you guys to get stuff done quickly, fast, so you won't have to be waiting for six to nine months, it's almost half of a whole season, you waiting to, uh, for your teacher to cure so you can take care of your kids, your children, or yourself, okay? So, a lot of people like to teach you better. I wanted to get this video out to show you guys how to make a teacher in three days. So I got this information from my actual herbal te herbalist teacher of mine. And uh, some people like to keep secrets, you know, and not share with everybody, but not me. I wanted to get this information out to you guys right away so you guys can start taking care of your health because Mother Nature is a gift to healthy living.